okay um i decided to run a stock um, screener to uh, find stocks that are benefiting from um, the current um, economic uh, crisis based on certain metrics and then in combination with the tool i shared on how to pick um, stocks that are oversold and are recovering and i found two important stocks that caught my attention and these two stocks they have actually been benefiting month on month to the extent that they are up by an average of 20 to 40 percent in the last three months and in the last 30 days they are also up by at least 18 to 20 percent and i dig deeper i went deeper to check why this stock has been going up and i realized that the sector they are in actually sectors that are likely going to benefit from the current um, COVID-19 pandemic. And one of the stocks in that uh, result was Union Diagonistic, um, I think, you know, and this uh, center. And um, if you noticed, um, if you read uh, the last um, updates uh, by the CBN on some of the sectors that were benefiting from their COVID-19 funds, and then they mentioned how over one trillion will be um, allocated or will be uh, given to firms in the health sector and the you know the agonistic was one of the beneficiaries followed by fixing near met and all that so i quickly called up the charts of a you know the agonistic company and then to see if it's a potential buy and i was able to spot the stock at the low end of the market so as it is right now the stock is a buy so it's something it's a stock you need to look into this month because i see the stock going up in the coming month at least as far as this covid is concerned so a lot of investors are actually uh, benefiting from this stock so this is you know the agonistic company now if i have to drill down to the weekly chart so i, would, I, like, I like to look at the short-term trend and then um, to uh, gauge the performance of the stock now from the short-term trend you will see here that the stock had actually moved from a low of 20 cobo to 31 cobo so that's an average of like 50 percent that's like 50 percent between um 16th of march and then um, today which is a uh, 27 that's like today which is in um, april so i think it's a stock you need to look into so that's why i think the stock is a buy now another important thing to look at basically it's the uh i've, I've pointed out the rsi and in interestingly the 50 days moving average has always been um, a core resistance region to watch and the stock successfully broke that region. Let's go back to this um, chart from 2018. Look at how the stock moved from 43 Kobo down to 20, found support close to that average. That's like um, 38, moved down to 24 found support at this average to move down to 22 found support at this average move down to 20 and instead of finding support at this average it broke the um, average and now it's already up so that's one important um, thing you need to look at when you are picking stocks that are uh, bullish or stocks that are benefiting from um, today's crisis then if we drill down to the daily chart of the stock daily chart of the stock also says the same thing now look at the macd you'll see how the macd moved when there was a crossover how the stock moved from 20 that's from here to 30 50 percent and you will see from that a crossover to the downside now we are likely going to see another crossover to the upside now one important thing you need to look at in macd is that this zero line you see here it's a division between a bullish and a bearish market so if MACD crosses this particular line upward it means that we are in a bullish market if MACD is below zero it means we're in a bearish market so a stock can be can pull back in the bullish market which is exactly what we are saying here so as long as MACD is still above zero i see this as a pullback so that's the potential of reversal at this point and you will likely see that the rsi also pointing up 
so which means that we could see you know diagnostic go up in coming days and weeks so note this that i said now look at this stochastic rsi which is a combination of this rsi and stochastic oscillator now at some point stochastic rsi also helps to gauge oversold and overbought region this stock is oversold already now starting from this region you will see how stochastic rsi went oversold which is from this point before it got to the overbought region and all that it got to this it moves to this point then from the closer one here the stock was trading around um 20 cobble at the point where it became overbought the stock had moved to like 22 cobble then from the recent one here we saw a move from this region which was oversold the stock moves from 20 cobble, which is recent 50 percent increase now that the stochastic oscillator is now at the oversold region and about to turn up so i see another move coming in so we should be looking at a move to close to 40 cobble on this stock so you know diagnostic stock is a must watch this week then i have another stock which is livestock feed although most of these stocks these two stocks that i'm actually buying this week are not uh like um high volume stocks so you need to look at the average before you know the quantity you are buying so it's better to not to be a major market mover so ensure you check the average volume traded but i'm actually buying them because right now they seem to be liquid they are attracting attention so i'm going to buy this stock so same thing applies here too you can see livestock feed livestock feed is already over sold so this is a pullback in a bullish market this is a pullback in the bullish market as long as both rsi the macd line and signal line are above zero we are seeing a bullish market but if this is below as even this has been below um the zero line would have considered this a bearish market so as long as both are above zero there is like a pullback so that's what i see here so we should be looking at livestock feed going up again so watch out for livestock feed in the coming days this is another stock to watch so based on my analysis these are the two stocks i'm going to trade this may and i already have an exit target i'm looking at 15 20 percent and i'm out of the market so these are the stocks i am buying this month